Hello and welcome back to me playing No One Lives Forever. We were here at question six. I understand that yours is a steadfastly episcopal lineage. Of How course. Does your unswerving faith influence your day-to-day -day life? This should be good. Well, you see, faith is. I didn't even uh, comprehend the faith question. Is... No, simply put, faith. I'm sure plenty of other great men have had keen things to say about faith. Why don't you be a dear and just go for them? Smashing idea. Okay. Um. Was that a gazelle trophy in the foyer? Ah, yes. Beautiful creature, isn't it? I'm sure it was lovely when it was alive. Aren't they quite fast? Indeed. You must be quite a marksman. True, although I was rather close in this particular instance. How close? Five yards, I should think. I'm impressed. Wow. Stalking a gazelle within five yards? I didn't really stalk it, per se. It was already dead. How did you get that close? Well, it was in a pen, you see. Pardon? Some years ago, it occurred to me that all that traipsing about the wilderness is a dreadful waste of time. I concluded that since what I really want is a handsome trophy to hang on my wall, why not simply put the beast in a pen out of the yard and shoot it there? Save myself the bother of tracking it all over creation. Why not just buy trophies then? Some men might be satisfied with that sort of compromise, but I only display animals I've collected myself. There's no honor in buying a trophy now, is there? How efficient. Indeed. Okay, let's... Okay. What historical figure? Let's put him in an awkward mine. position. Hmm. Probably. Oh God. Uh, I was thinking of historical rather than fictional individuals. Well, I was referring to the historical Beowulf, not the fictional one. Um. You mean the one who slew Grendel and his mother? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. He's a fictional character. Yes, I know that, but there was also an historical one. The Beowulf who fought the dragon. Precisely. Oh God. But there aren't any dragons. Not anymore. Well, not anymore. Thanks to Beowulf. Of course. There weren't any to begin with, unless you count the dinosaurs, that is. But there weren't any of those wandering around during the time when Beowulf would have lived if he were a real person instead of a fictional character. Are you quite sure? I think yes. I ruined his entire existence. I Poor guy. Well, oh well. That's all the questions I prepared. I must confess, I'm positive. Um, no, you no, that's not your oh, cut. Oh. oh, you think so? I wanted to ask him more Let's awkward see. questions. Rarely does nature combine so many excellent qualities in one man. Our readers will be fascinated and maybe even a bit envious. One can hardly blame them. Indeed. What I don't understand is where such a busy man finds the time to be a successful business tycoon, loving husband, daring hunter, astute philosopher, cultivated humorist, etc. Aren't you overwhelmed? Well, one learns to delegate. For example, although you wouldn't guess it, I'm only peripherally involved with Dumas Enterprises these days, strictly in an advisory capacity. Oh, here comes the important part. How ingenious. Oh, well, I have my moments. But isn't it an awful risk to hand over operations to someone less accomplished in the subtleties of enterprise than yourself? Actually, it's safer that way. Really? Yes, you see, in my experience, the less one knows about running a business, the less he can screw up. I make all the important decisions. The rest is just... Yeah, Great. Still, you wouldn't want your competitors getting their hands on that paperwork. Oh, quite true. But we have a very large safe in which to store it. Safes can be cracked. It's not a concern. Why not? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss such matters, even with a young lady as charming as yourself. Thank you for your time, Baron de Mar. It's been an eye-opening experience. Indeed. I'm happy to oblige. 
Uh, never turn your back on a worthy cause, I always say. A worthy meal is more like it. <laughs> uh, nosy. Avoid detection? Not completed? Oh well, I guess I completed it by... Detected six times, that's great news. Found 12 out of 19 intelligence items, that's also quite good. Okay, thanks for not getting hurt award issued by Mr. Jones, Chief of Unity. Well done, Agent Archer. You may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Alright, whatever. Start mission. Start mission. Start mission. Thanks. And they're back Is in England. He was putting on an act? I think. I don't think so, sir. I'm fairly confident the man is an imbecile. Great news. I heard the tape and I got to agree. Still it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow linked to harm. Well, didn't the Baron say that he wasn't really running the show anyway? Who's the vice president of the company? According to our research, his name is Damascus Valentine. What? DV. What? Oh. His initials, Damascus Valentine, Dmitri Volkov. Coincidence? Seems rather tenuous. Well, you must be completely an imbecile to pick your initials the same way as your ominous name. It won't be easy, naturally, but it could be the key to this investigation. I'm looking forward to the challenge, sir. That's the spirit. Mr. Smith, what did intelligence find out about the building? It's a veritable fortress. Not only is there a suspiciously large and well-trained security staff, but they've also invested heavily in high-tech surveillance equipment, cameras, infrared alarm systems, the works. They must really have something to hide. Our thoughts exactly. Indeed. So what's the plan? Who is going inside? You are. What? Yay. Why her? It's way too dangerous for a woman. Don't be so chivalrous. Don't start with that again. Chivalrous? Chivalier? I don't know. Agent Chivalrity? Whatever. In, um, covert infiltration, one might say? Breaking and entering, others might say. Whatever the case, this assignment calls for stealth and subtlety. Surely something a large yeah, man as yeah, good man doesn't have. Subtlety isn't my specialty. I still think it's too dangerous for her to go in alone. Which is why you'll be providing a distraction for her downstairs. I like the sound of that. Can I play the game? Inside. Attempting entry on the ground floor would be suicide even for an... Expert like Ms. Archer. The only way in is through the roof access. What did you have in mind? Am I going to have to parachute in? Too imprecise. Fortunately, there's an alternative. Dumas Enterprises is erecting a second skyscraper right next to its corporate headquarters. Our surveillance photos suggest that if you can get to the top of the new building, you can use a crane to cross over to the roof of the old one. All right. The surveillance photos suggest that this is possible? It will be close. You'll have a zip cord to cut the difference. I see. Once you're inside the building, you'll need to locate the president's office and find the safe. Photograph anything remotely suspicious. We don't want to tip our hand, so leave everything as you found it. The less they know about our mission, the better. Now then, time is of the essence. All right. Yes, sir. And we're here. Thanks. Open the door. Yes, open the door. Shut up and open the door. I'm going to slaughter you in the worst way possible as soon as I meet you in person. Open the goddamn door now. Oh dear god. Can I? Thanks. Do it. You can do it. You're awesome. There you go. Take it back, and here we are. Nice. No, not that. No, don't. Do no. Ah. Retry. Oh yeah. I'm awesome, huh? I'm awesome, Mister. Whatever. Excellent! I got detected twice! Uh oh, hip chicks. Well done for, uh, for Inge Wagner. 
Well done. Stuck up cow. Sounds I'm appropriate. Alright, this being done. While it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow involved with harm, it's not yeah. entirely certain who the mastermind is. You must infiltrate the, the company's corporate headquarters building, locate the safe and president's office, and photograph any relevant documents you find. It's in good middle will provide a distraction, you should draw attention away from you. But you should still expect resistance. Default equipment is a ooh, crossbow, nice. Let's go. It's been 10 minutes, 11 minutes, any time now, so hopefully with the with your leave I shall pause this episode. When you're in yes, can I still play the, the game, please? Make it easier for you to get inside okay. Unnoticed. What kind of signal? I don't know, something that'll get my attention. Right. Take care of yourself. Bye. Don't worry about me, just get to that safe as fast as you can. Figure out what you're up to, you're as good as dead. Alright. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this for now. Thanks for watching. Join me next time as I will be playing this onwards and getting into this skyscraper to then later get into the second one, which is God knows where. Until then, be well. Bye. This was the Loud on Gaming Show. Thanks for watching.